Hey guys, um, so I am going to be reacting now to Godzilla vs. Kong. Um, it's one of the movies I was more excited for um, this this year, and uh, I watched actually I watched the original King Kong vs. Godzilla. I can't recall who won at the end of that one. Um, this one. Um, I'm rooting for Godzilla. He's my boy, and so I'm always going to be rooting for him. Although I'm worried that uh, they'll just nerf Godzilla to uh, make Kong the winner. Um, I, I remember reading that the director was kind of felt bad for, you know, how 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 Godzilla, how how Kong was getting shown shown up by Godzilla, and so he kind of cut some scenes, which makes me worried that they'll just they'll just make King Kong win to you know be the. Be, to to do to upset Godzilla, so um, we'll see we'll see what what they do. It all depends for me on the story, how it's written, and whether it's realistic as to what would actually happen. Um, with, what with Godzilla's powers and everything, so um, we'll see. Um, Super excited for this soundtrack because I know I believe that Junkie Hexel does it, and uh, I think he commented that there's going to be a lot of fucking drums. Didn't he say that there was a uh, there wasn't drums big enough? <laughs> there wasn't enough like cow cow hide big enough for the drums <laughs> that he's going to use that he wanted to use. I don't know something along those lines, but uh, I think those are really the two things I'm kind of interested in. I love the Godzilla, so we'll see exactly how it's written and how it plays out. And uh, yeah, I'm so excited for the soundtrack. So uh, that being said, let's just get right on into the movie. <laughs> just couldn't put Skull Island. So she death. Well, at least it feels realistic that uh, he isn't just off on an island randomly. He's actually been contained by Monarch. So is the girl actually death? Is he death actress? That would be cool. So are they taking out all the titans? Or is Godzilla taking out all the titans? When we started Apex Cybernetics, we dreamt of new ways to push past the limits of human potential. Robotics, the human mind, artificial intelligence. Who knows what great new future we dream of next. So are these gonna set this up to, to like incorporate like um, Pacific Rim, the whatever they're called, the the machine from Pacific Rim into into this this universe because it seems kind of random to do like a cybernex storyline. Yeah, just make him so uncomfortable they leave. I didn't try that. It is interesting to see how the uh, humans are continually trying to exist. In the same, uh, you know, uh, as the same world as the Titans. Oof. Looks like Godzilla is fucking pissed. Ah, they're gonna get to classic Godzilla attacking Japan. It's Japan, right? Yeah, obviously something's going on with Godzilla because his eyes are going and all that. I think it's possible that the uh, the uh, the aliens, if they did the aliens who who created uh, Ghidorah, who are con who's co controlling Godzilla, Ghidorah, or it's either uh, Ghidorah or uh, Mecha Godzilla. That could be Mecha Godzilla. So, uh, just gloriously beautiful. Yeah, what if you know, what if there's a big surprise if he's a bad guy? You know, he's using cybernetics or whatever to control Super 
to control Godzilla or to um, you create his own Godzilla that he's just going to try to use to either control the other titans or control the world, whatever. Is this guy really going to go, oh, well, you know, Godzilla is, you know, evil and shit like that? I already don't like this dude, even though I liked him in this last one, because now he's doing the whole, oh, well, you know, he had a connection with Godzilla moment, and now what? Oh, no, now he's evil. Oh, fuck off. At least use your goddamn brain. So who was his brother? I'm assuming it's probably someone from the last movie. Or the one before. Oh, I guess he's someone who went try to go to the center of the earth. Make the journey to Hollow Earth so they're, they're really going the whole plot of the core. FYI, I love the core. I know it's kind of one of the, I guess, least popular disaster movies, but I enjoy it. <laughs> I need to rewatch it. I do enjoy it just the time to go shave and get a haircut <laughs> before going to, to meet with her. So how did they sedate him again? I know in the original they gave him like drugged juice. They just did they just dart him or you know give him some aerial drug or something. Reminds me very much of Mighty Joe Young. I love that movie. The one with Charles Theer Charlie Theer Theron. Seriously, you can teach a gorilla sign language, so you really think that he wouldn't understand? <laughs> That's exactly. You don't think he doesn't know sign language? Oh, I hope you don't get the douchey boyfriend. This isn't Of course. Never let on that, you know, he knew for your kids, he didn't want them to know. Use them as stepping stones. <laughs> this is like, it's like throwing a toy at him. <laughs> this is a little bitch slap I got to. <laughs> Big ass! Cool visuals. Oh, it looks like giant flying snakes, which isn't fucking terrifying at all. <laughs> all that fell is just slam it around a lot. See what other horrifying creatures they find. So, Mecha Godzilla. I'm assuming that's what's throwing Godzilla off whenever he's activated. I'm assuming that Godzilla and Kong are gonna have to team up to fight Mecha Godzilla. Nobody sees the humans at all. Really just pull an Excalibur. No. I guess they'll probably end up dying and the others will have to get out with Godzilla or Kong. How convenient that they 
Godzilla blasted a hole through that allows them to get through there conveniently. So this is only just about trying to take down, I guess, Mecha Godzilla, but Kong just kind of got in the way. Well, at least Godzilla didn't kill him. There's nothing we can do to restart his heart. We'd have to produce a charge big enough to light up Las Vegas for a week. Yeah, gonna hurry up and uh, find a way to bring him back. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm kind of like in the first the the one. Uh, King of Monsters better than this because there's just so much stuff like coincidences in this movie. You take that blow a hole in his chest. <laughs> At least we all know. At least uh Kong does the same thing when someone dislocates a shoulder, just throw it against the, you know, an object to pop it back in place. Told ya, they're gonna team up against the big bad. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just waiting for, like, Kong to get him in a headlock, you know, pin his arm <laughs> so that they can uh, take him out. <laughs> No, it was a uh, game into, uh, you know, full Nelson to, so that, uh, Godzilla can take him out. Godzilla using his brain. And to think, all it took to save the day was spilling liquid on a keyboard. It's almost as ridiculous as, a, uh, you know, universe being saved by a fucking rat. Joy, so like, my job here is done and I'm out. <laughs> God, I love Godzilla. He's just like a grumpy old man. <laughs> so that was Godzilla vs. Kong. First impressions, I still think I like King of Monsters better than this one. I don't know what it is about that one. Probably because we get all the, you know, titans in King of Monsters. And I enjoyed that one better. I mean... I'm happy they didn't do the whole have Kong win just to win. I really do think Godzilla would have won no matter what. He's just so, you know, he's just so powerful and have so, has so many weapons. I mean, in the beginning of the movie, he would have died. Kong would have died if uh, the humans hadn't been there just to, to save him from Godzilla. Um, but kind of went the way I expected. They had something that was affecting Godzilla. Um, it turns out to be, you know, the Mecha Godzilla that was make him go crazy and uh, attacking, well, the facility where he was being housed. Human characters, I didn't really care about any of them, except the little girl and, you know, I love the, the good little girl and the Kong's relationship. I really do like the idea that she, you know, being death, was able to communicate him, co communicate with Kong, because um, he was able to teach him sign language, um, and they were able to communicate with each other. I did like that relationship. I thought that was cute. I, I don't know if that was implied in the trailers or confirmed in the trailers, but I must have missed it because, you know, it kind of uh, caught me by surprise in the, in, when I saw it in the movie. The, like the, the Hollow Earth thing? I mean, I do th I think the visuals were pretty cool, you know, where it's like the, the Earth is just, there's Earth above and below, and you know, gravitational effects. You can you can go on to each one because once you go to the top, like go up to the top, the gravitational kind of flips it. 
so that you can, you know, you can just switch between the two sides, which I thought was kind of cool. So it would, I think it would kind of be interesting um, to see a movie just about Hollow Earth. I think they said they might be doing that. I can't recall um, exactly. Soundtrack, nothing really sticks out in my mind. Um, usually I, after I watch the movie, I go and just listen to the soundtrack and it really, you know, stands out more to me. But, uh, I'll have to check that one out. Uh, but other than that, yeah, I mean, I just, I think I still prefer Godzilla vs. Uh, or Godzilla King of Monsters better than this one. Um, I'm not sure about Godzilla. I'll have to go, I'll have to watch, rewatch that one. Um, it's been a few years, so. But, uh, yeah, that was my reaction to Godzilla. And, um, uh, so, um, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, subscribe to get more videos like this. If you have any suggestions, just leave it on the comment. I'm open to pretty much anything. Um, I enjoy learning and, and um, experiencing new things. So uh, so just leave a suggestion and then I'll, I'll get to it eventually. <laughs> Might take a little bit depending on what's going on um, in my life. So, um, But yeah, other than that, you guys have a nice night. Uh, talk to you later. You stay safe out there. Bye.